Hey everybody, welcome to Ashen. Robert Rambles here. Thanks for joining me today. So Ashen, from what I know about it, is a Souls-like game. And it came out a little while ago, but I wasn't aware of it. And the reason I wasn't aware of it was because it actually debuted on the Epic Store as a limited time exclusive, which means that it is coming to Steam. It's coming to Steam soon. But it started its life on Epic exclusively. And so I didn't hear about this game until recently. Uh, very interested in the Souls games I always have been, but uh, never was able to get into them very much. Played about 15 hours of Scholar of the First Sin when it first came out. But the series just seemed so dense that I didn't think I could get into it during the time that I found out about it. I had missed Dragon Souls, I had missed the original Dark Souls, and it was kind of a, a hard intellectual property to dive into. So I'm going to check out Ashen. I played about the first 10 minutes of it. Really dig the art, and I think the controls feel really solid. And so, without saying any more, let's go ahead and jump right in. Uh, let's create a character here. So, interestingly, your character doesn't have a face, and it's part of the overall artwork of the game. It at first seems a little strange, but then you kind of get used to it, and it's very interesting that you can put yourself in the role of this character a little bit easier, actually with only controlling certain details about how they look. Uh, so we can do feminine or masculine. And let's go, let's see, for facial hair, I know I want to do... This is the fullest beard we can get, so we're going with that. Gonna go with something kind of like that, I think. Alright. Uh, what else? Let's check out the hairstyles. Vagabond looks cool. I think, I mean, it's pretty simplistic, but you can see that you have a bunch of different options, and I think that they're unisex, so the, you can probably do the same haircuts whether you're doing the masculine or female build. Uh, masculine or feminine build, rather. But I think I'm going to go with uh, the Vagabond here. That's a pretty cool look. Yeah, cool, let's go with that. Among the stars, the ashen fly. Beneath, the nine realms move among the tree of worlds' many branches. Proudly standing upon the darkness, its roots delving into caverns where light will never venture. It was when a single great ashen flew down to rest upon her boughs, that the light woke among the realms. After eons, the great ashen grew weak with age and fell from the tree of worlds, resting upon the plains of darkness, drawing what few breaths remained. In the throes of death, the light dimmed, and the Ashen's final three breaths became the three golden ages of light. The first age saw three creatures of the Dark Plains rise above all others. The Elder Dark fed upon the light and thrived. The second marked the coming of the Listener Matriarchs, Titans who revered the light. The third breath was the Age of Man, Geffen's children. When the final breath ended, there would be a time of darkness. In that Black Age, the cities of man fell into ruin toppled by war and emptied by pestilence and famine. 
proud Lathyrus drowned beneath the ash. From dust to flesh, from darkness to radiance, soon the Ashen will be reborn from the ruins of its old body, and a new age of light will begin. I served the Ashen long ago, a guardian to its waning light, even though it broke me with its brilliance. Now, look to the mountain peak, for that is where fresh hope blooms. The Ashen is reborn. Behold the first glimmer of the light that will sweep the darkness from these plains. All right, so we're in. I think it has a very interesting origin story of the creation of the world. And what's interesting about games like this that are kind of a little more abstract is you don't know whether to take that origin story literally or figuratively as a metaphor like we might find in our own world about the universe being built on the back of a turtle or things like that. In games like this, you think that it seems more literal than abstract. And I think that's a very interesting uh, way to do world building. Okay. So, this is the end of the third age, the third breath of the, of the Ashen, but apparently this guy is telling us that uh, the Ashen is returning and that the point of return is up here on this mountain. Now this guy we have with us is an NPC, and something I understand about this game is that it's op swap in co-op, so you could play online with a friend and they could swap in and they would take the place of whatever NPC you have in your party. And when they pop back out, the NPC-driven AI would pop back in. And I think that's really cool to have that optional co-op. And just to have a person with us, even if it's an NPC in a world like this, I think it's going to help a lot. The cliffs ahead should provide a good vantage point. Beware, the rebirth of the Ashen will be violent. Okay. If you stare at a campfire too long, you'll dull your senses. And the Ashen is brighter than a thousand campfires. It'll dull your senses, and the Ashen is brighter than a thousand campfires. So is it going to dull our senses, Baratan? Is that what you're telling us? The cliffs ahead. Okay. If you stare. That's all he has to say. And so talking to characters, I think, is going to be important to learn things about the world. We can climb. Oh, we can jump. Yeah, I, yep, cool. So yeah, we can jump in this. And that's not typical um, for most games like this. Uh, I don't think we can get anywhere here, though. We just learned that we can climb up stuff. And ultimately, we're headed to this mountain. But we're going to do some exploring. Try to be thorough as I can. Although, you know, I'll miss stuff. But I'm going to try to look around and really get a sense of the world and everything in it. That's kind of how I like to play, if you're new to the channel. I try to go for immersion, reading as much as I can, whether it's about the lore or the characters. Like, what is this here? Bone Spear. Bones of the Earth take flight. We will take that. Let's see what we can do with it. Damage 30. See, we don't know what these numbers mean yet, but it's got some damage, stun, and critical hit chance over there on the bottom right. Bone of the Earth, carved from the deep beneath the ash, is particularly useful in creating sharp and strong edged spearheads. Bone of the Earth is difficult to craft, but well worth the effort, says Vorsa. Okay, well, we don't know about crafting yet. Let's hang on to that. Uh, we can run. We hold down B. And treading water is a little harder than just walking above it, which is very realistic and cool. So if we're waist deep, we move a little slower than we would if we were on land. I uh, don't suppose we can climb up here? No. And of course we can see we have our stamina and health gauge up in the top left. So our stamina will drain from running, our stamina will drain from rolling, and also from jumping. 
Alright, let's head over this way. We saw somebody appear over here. And let's see what they have to say. Keep the light, hide it, keep it, save it. Keep the light, hide it, keep it, save it. Ah. Oh. Walking with shadows, you are. Okay. Them shadows, they's always watching. Raffets know. Them has the ears, you see. Raffets. Keep your mitts off me, Rock. Not safe, not safe, never. Get away with you. <laughs> Ah, uh, she's a little paranoid. Stay away from my rock. What rock? Oh, what's this? Oh, we can't quite get over there, I guess. It looks like we could. Um, not sure if that was intentional. Huh, interesting. It almost seems like we could get up there, but uh, we did not. That seems less than good, but he told us the rebirth of the Ashen would be violent. Uh, that does seem pretty violent. So this is going to be when there's an item to pick up. Broken Bone Hatchet. An axe of bone. Primitive yet brutal. We'll take that. It's probably better than the club we have. Let's check out some stats here to get some uh, perspective. What, our starting weapon has 39 damage and then 46. Is that the difference between a quick attack and a charged attack, I think? Stun is 10 and 15, critical is 0. So this would be less if we equip this. We're better off. This has a higher crit chance. But not not everything else is worse. I think we're going to keep what we have, strangely. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll vendor that at some point but we just picked up. Oh, okay. This is an enemy. We'll lock on, and we'll do a couple... Oh, wow. He died really fast, right? So... Okay. Um, what do we got? Oh, a plank shield. Yes, we'll definitely take that. Alright. Not quite sure how we pull that out. That's our wind-up attack. Hmm. No way I can see to pull out the shield, but maybe we'll figure it out in a minute. Let's keep going. We can run jump, uh, which is probably very important, actually. What about this way? Um, I don't think we were supposed to be over here, strangely enough. Uh, but the game let us, so here we are. What are these things? I don't know. They're not attacking us. Little, like, red fire rabbits. Uh, this guy's got an apple cricket. Increase your stamina regeneration speed for a short time. We'll save that. This is for a short time. Um, and there's nothing we can do with whatever this is. A statue of a man, maybe? Um, I don't have our, our little guy, our NPC, is actually not following us right now. I'm not sure if we were supposed to get down here or not, but we're down here now. So we're going to look around. White Sapote, I guess. Probably pronouncing that wrong, never seen that word before. Instantly heals a moderate amount. Sapote? White Sapote? Sapote is the E silent? Let's take it. We'll worry about pronunciations later, shall we? I'm very interested in these little rabbits. What was that that triggered? Did you guys see that? Um, okay, oh, it's just prompting us to... Um... I'm not really wanting to do any more jumping because I don't want to get somewhere that we can't get back from. I'm a little fearful we've already done that, but uh, this path probably will lead us out. And we're getting some stuff along the way, so... 
And actually, we should... A peeled white support makes a restorative meal that is the go-to food for recovery after a fight. Collect white support whenever you f wherever you find it. Inside that leathery skin is a spongy core of life-saving flesh. Interesting. Okay, so we're going to quick slot that. Um, I'm not sure what button consumes it. I'm sure X or Y. We'll find out when we need to find out. Okay, um, I think... I think we're where we need to be. Who are you guys? A little creepy. Soft rapid, warm rapid, fur and rapid pie. Get away with you. Are the rapids the red little bunnies? Rapid pie, I don't know. Not safe, not safe, never safe. These guys are a little creepy and very paranoid. Whoever they are. Walking with shadows, you are. Yeah. Ash suckers, nothing but trouble. Them shadows, Basil. All right. Well, we've heard all that before. Anything hiding over here? Nope. Here's our buddy. He's just patiently waiting for us. There are those that thrive in perpetual night, and would extinguish these fledgling rays. Hmm. We must find the Ashen, and protect it from the Elder Dark. Okay. Nice. Definitely not skipping anything. That was where it cut in. Alright, here we go. Well, we were dropped into the cavern as a result of that explosion. Alright. Uh, so, the Ashen, although it had breathed its last three breaths, it's trying to make a resurgence in the world. And I guess there are people who don't want that for whatever reason, and we are one of the people who do want, obviously, light to return to the fading world, so... That's what we know so far. It's great that they're giving us a lot of this, since it seems like it's the main healing item we're gonna go to, at least from the description, that's what it said. I love the art design, I will say that. Very unique looking art. Alright, let's get out of the cave. What a sight. Our world once more bathed in ashen light. You have felt the power of the ashen and survived. We will need that strength of yours. The ashen is still a sleeping child. Vulnerable. We must wake it from its slumber. Before we begin our journey, we must bind your spirit to a ritual stone. If misadventure takes you, the stone will act as a beacon from beyond death's veil. Okay, so the ritual stone is going to be where we respawn when we die. Probably like the fire... There's a ritual stone uh, yeah. nearby. In the district called Vagrant's Rest. But I will need my hammer and spark to awaken it. Kind of like the bonfires in the Souls them. games. Right. So he can activate this ritual stone, but he needs his hammer and spark. Okay. Yeah, we can, uh, we can find that for you, buddy. I fell and hit my head. When I awoke, my hammer and spark were gone. They are somewhere in Vagrant's Rest. And he's one of That's the uh, elder species, right? One of the titans or the giants? He's enormous, obviously. It's possible that my hammer and spark were taken by Vagrants. If so, I doubt they will relinquish them willingly. Courage be with you. 
I fell and hit. Okay. It's, you, you need to talk to them more than once, typically, uh, because they often have a lot to say. Oh, cool. So we're getting a map here. This is neat. Didn't really expect that. That's nice. Hammer and Spark. So this is for Baratan. Go with Jaquel. So that he must be our NPC we were introduced to. Go with Jaquel to find Baratan's Hammer and Spark. The Ashen is yet a sleeping child. Vulnerable. We must wake it from its slumber. There's a ritual stone in Vagrant's Rest nearby. A place to begin our work. I will need my Hammer and Spark to revive the ritual stone. Look for them with Jokel, then meet me here, meet me there with hammer and spark in hand. Excellent. So we're tracking that on our map. Um, okay, and it tracks it above, up top, which is pretty cool. Similar to, like, Skyrim or something like that. I like that. That's very different than Souls games, which you don't have trackable quests or objectives directly. The objectives are usually implied, and you just kind of figure it out for yourself what you want to do. This is pretty cool. I like it. Uh, and gee, I just love the environments. And I guess there's light here now because of what we did. Uh, because we awoke that part of the Ashen. Look at these guys. Alright, so we're supposed to be looking. It's leading us where we need to go, I think. That's fine, but I'm going to look around. Oh, whoa. Okay, we got our shield out. It taught us how to do that. That's cool. All right, uh, now who's shooting us up there, it looks like. That's close. Oh, shoot. I've been playing too much outward. I'm using the wrong controls. Yeah, that's not good. Wait to be revived. Am I going to be revived? Okay, well, I need some more practice. It's very sad. Uh, I've been playing a lot of outward, so I would try to go for those controls, and clearly that isn't going to help us get anywhere. Let's try that again. I don't know where we respawn. I'm assuming we just spawn back at the beginning. Okay. Equip spear. I don't really... Do I need to do that? It's telling me to. Okay. Okay. And can I aim this? Is that how this works? I'd like to find those uh, enemies again. Try a round number two. I'm not sure like if this guy is not always following us or what the deal is with him. He didn't really seem to be helping us when we ran into that those enemies. So let's see if he helps us this time now that he's actually with us. Uh, it's teaching us something now. Yeah, I'd love the lock-on. I'm a little bit too far for that. Okay, so... Oh, Jesus. I thought I could throw it, you know? It seemed like a throwing spear, but... At least he's helping us this time. Oh, that's how we throw it. I don't want this in my hand, though. That's the thing. Yeah, here we go. Well, at least he's competent. Eat the last of our fruit there since we wasted so much in the first uh, encounter. Yeah, so the toggling to the throwing weapon. If I want to throw it, I need to do this and then release it. Okay, and that spends it. And let's pull our club back out. Okay, so that's not hard. Toggle. That's the melee weapon. That's your... So we toggle our different weapons with the D-pad on the left or the right. Okay, makes sense. Uh, okay, Scoria regain. So similar to regaining our souls, I guess. When we die, we need to recover lost resources. Okay, I don't know why I would do that. Oh, good. We need that uh, since we just spent all of ours. Okay. 
And okay, well. I guess that's a better way to start combat. Oh no, I keep ah, I keep going for the wrong buttons. We'll get it. We will get it. It's very it's very smooth once you got it, but we were able to deal with that from range just by throwing a couple spears. I probably need to be saving those, but I'm trying to familiarize myself with them. Uh, we can increase our stamina regen. Okay, that's two of those. This is not the way it's telling us to go, but uh, this is the Wrinkled Grotto. I feel like it's probably worth it to explore. Maybe. Maybe we'll just get killed by something. And we'll uh, immediately regret. So that's how we block. This is not an impressive shield, so... I doubt it's going to do very much. It's very dark in this grotto, and I feel like a torch might be in order. But we don't have a torch. Oh, it's teaching us about our attacks. Yeah, we. So that's heavy attack. Okay. Um, do we want to take on another one of these? We have three spears left. Maybe we can... Whoa! Whoa, okay. Maybe we're not supposed to be in here yet. That thing was a little tough. Okay. I think it's time that we get out of this place. It's not where we were supposed to go, and it seems a little bit maybe out of our league. Also, a torch would probably be necessary to see what's really going on and now we don't have a lot of health left after all that trying to figure out if that's the strong attack or if I have to hold it for a strong attack because I oh you're an enemy well Oh gosh, can this guy revive us? Is, yeah, he can. Well, that's that's very convenient. Yeah, rolling. Okay, we need to do more of that. Like that was good. All right, once we get up there, if we just start whacking away, it's not too bad. Uh, whoa, not the time to be looting, I guess. Shite. Get up there, boy. Come on now. This is not good. Not good at all. Let's get up there. Let's get up there. Come on. Oh, they keep knocking me down. He's got it. Oh, nice. Good job, Jaquel. So he's our best buddy at this point because we weren't getting up here. Not in time, at least. Now we can loot in peace. Small sack containing something. Prized by vagrants, small deposits of these ancient Lathrian? Ancient Lathrian riches can be found hastily stowed in many hidden corners of the world. These few scoria flakes might not be worth much. But the horror on a vagrant's face when they come looking for it is the reward enough. Okay, how do we use that? What do we Oh, it just gives us I don't I don't know what it gives us. I have no idea. Um I wanted to use it, so did did we use it? I guess we did. No, we didn't. There we go. Now we used it, and we see our Scotia counter increase under our stamina bar there. So thanks, souls. 
I guess we're going to spend those as resources eventually. And so having cleared up here makes me want to look up here, even though I'm not sure this is the way we are supposed to go. I'd love to find another healing spell, or spell, item, and we'll have to be much more careful with them. Whoa! Alright, not bad. Alright, we're not doing too great on health, of course. Yeah, like, I don't know if he could take him on his own, you know? Oh, no choice there. We probably should just be heading towards our first objective, honestly. At least just to see. Um, but we've lost all of our stuff now. And I don't know how easy it's going to be to get that back. I mean, I have no idea where we're at, so... Death might be, uh... Very bad. We're, oh, okay, it shows it on the map. I guess... I guess... I wish it would... Oh, okay. There it is. I see it now. Well, I don't see it, but we can, we can track it. It's trackable. So not all is lost. Um, if we do lose... All of our Scotia, we can maybe find a way to get it back. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. Doesn't seem very hopeful, uh, seeing as how we were just kind of exploring when we lost it, so we'll have to be careful. Is this where we lost it, or no? I think it must be. My buddy is, like, definitely not with us. Oh, here he is. He's just really slow. Yeah. Oh, that's right. They come back. Everybody respawns. Everybody respawns. It's like, it's like, a, it's a Souls-like game, so... Of course, they're gonna respawn. It's not going to be easy for us to get our stuff back because we have to clear everybody we already cleared. Including this girl. And you'll remember, uh, she was a real pain. Not this time. There we go. Let's make sure we loot everybody if they... Do they have any? They have no loot the second time around, or maybe they don't ever have loot. No healing items for us, in other words. We need to just unlock the thing that they're telling us to go unlock. Um, because that's going to be our equivalent of a bonfire, I think. But we really need to get our resources back. But it might not be that easy if there's any enemies still around, so. At least it's just walk over. Whoa! No, no, no. Okay, these guys are not fucking around. Yeah, damn it. I don't think he's good enough to take him on his own, but I want to wait and see. Come on, you can do it. There we go. Alright, well, it's embarrassing to have to rely on him like that, but... I'd rather rely on him when we can than uh, lose all of our souls. Uh, our, sc our scoria, I'm sorry. Uh, here's another small sack of Scoria, so we'll take that, and we know we can pop that now, but we're going to hang on to it 
it might be worth it to keep them in item form because when they're in Scotia form, if we lose them, we have to go fight to get them back. And if they're in item form, we just keep the item. So we'll only pop those when necessary. Now we're kind of heading towards the objective, I guess. That's my thought. Like, do I have to climb up to get to the objective? I don't think climbing is actually a mechanic. Oh no, it may be. I, I don't know. It's hard to tell if we're supposed to be climbing like this or if we're just doing it. I'm not sure. It's cool that we can. I'm just wondering if it's necessary to get where we're going or not. And how we would really know. Jory's Falls. Um, let's see. I think this is... Maybe this is where we're headed? Or one of the places. Oh shit! Yeah, that was a setup. That guy seems like, see, he's prepared. He's got lots of fruit. Uh, we ate all of ours accidentally early on. All right, did we get anything out of that? I think we found one of the items we needed. And now we got to head over here uh, to find the other. Okay. Oh, hi. Whew. I'll tell you what, having an NPC friend, <laughs> you know, in a world this dangerous is great. It really kind of opens up this kind of game experience for me. I love having somebody along. It just helps, you know. It helps to know somebody's got your back, even if it's an NPC. Now that, I don't know what's going on here. Uh, we can't target him. Okay, good. Nothing that we have to fight. I like that there's some wildlife that isn't going to like immediately kill us. That's cool. Um, we have to get down there safely, but I'm looking at this guy up here. Like, what's he doing? He's an enemy, so... We're going to find out, because he's protecting something. Whoa! He broke right through our guard. Oh no! Shit! It's fine. Now that we know we can track um, our scor scoria on the map, it's okay. I kind of want our NPC buddy to be better at climbing, though. Yeah, losing it sucks. Really bad. Uh, okay, well. Let's at least try to go get it back, I guess. We were headed towards the objective, so if we head that way... We should be able to get it back, but, you know, that might not work out like we expect. That's good. We definitely need that. Oh, hi. And, of course, anybody we've defeated before, we're going to have to fight again. Okay, there's a combat going on here. That guy didn't win. I really need to figure out how to roll instead of eating my fruit. Okay, roll is B. I don't like that, and I might have to rebind it to X. Because every time I want to roll, 
I go for X for some reason. So I wonder if I can rebind. I might have to check that out. Um. Oh, okay. It's just you. Uh, we're getting jumped back here. Or like that would be a good maneuver too. Oh shit. I really just want to go get my Scotia back, um, but we have to deal with this. I don't even know if I have to deal with this. I might just not deal with this right now. Unless she wants to come down, I guess. Because really my number one priority right now has to be getting my Scotia back. Scoria. It's Scoria. I'm never going to call it the right thing. Uh, in an attempt to not call it Souls. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, well. We're going this way. I would really love to be able to actually do some of that climbing. But it doesn't seem like that's going to be what happens here. Here we go. Not getting me where I need to be at all, I don't think, though. Definitely not. Alright, alright. Fair enough. No, we're like, we've passed it or something. Where the hell is it? Oh, it's over there. I see it now. Now to get it, I'm still going to have to deal with this guy. I wonder if this is the time to use one of our last spears to maybe try to pull him down here. Well, let's go for it. Yeah, come on down, man. Because uh, we need our buddy here to help. No, 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 no. All right, not great. Not great, if I can't get back up here, okay. This guy is not cooperative um, at all. Let's just be more careful, how about that? About our stamina mainly, I need to make sure that when I go in, I actually have enough stamina to do anything, right? There we go. Not so bad the second time around. Uh, more spears? Yeah, we'll take those. And now we really need to get moving on this objective, though. Whoa! Okay. Well, I guess that's how we can do that. That's very interesting to know. Yeah, the thing is, like, every nook and cranny of this place is not safe. Look at this crap. They've got this ambush set up here for us. Come on out, boys. Uh, we see you. The gig's up. I like how he goes in first sometimes. That's, uh, really helpful. Okay, that's going to go right through our shield, so it's time to learn how to dodge a little bit. Whoa! Okay, we got him. Alright, so we got his stuff. Let's uh, make sure we check out the area here. I'm also, I have no idea, like, what constitutes a save, or, like, when the game saves, so this is probably going to be a really long episode, I realize. 
Uh, yeah, of course I want to climb down there, but when I do that, can I get back up here? Alright, excellent. Okay. I don't know if I need to be breaking stuff or not. Probably not. And I'm not... And I... Oh, shit. Oh, hi. Yeah, well, that sucks, but uh, if she's not going to come down... We could try to draw her out. I guess we're just going to have to go up there for her, huh? Alright. Enough of that now. Oh, crap! Well, I mean, that worked out okay. Huh. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, what's this? Plus two maximum health. I consume black ash and feather acquired. Why did we get that from that person? That's cool. Uh, increase to our maximum health. Yes, please. Can't destroy that, huh? Looked like it might be destroyable. Let's get up out of here. And we should really consider getting back. Um, but there's just so much to explore. Honestly. But I do want to get back to him and let him do whatever he's got to do. And he's right over here, so let's just, uh, let's just hustle. See what happens Give next. Me my hammer, so oh, yeah, I might sure. awaken this sleeping stone. No, you could definitely I have it. Cannot strike the awakening. Give me my hammer. Uh, so yeah. I might awaken Touch the there we go. To the ritual stone. Bind. Okay. Touch the spark to the ritual stone. Alright, so this is our first first activated ritual stone, so we've founded our town. Town founded, you have claimed Vagrant's Rest. So more than just a bonfire at this point. That quest is complete. And Jokel has, uh, Jokel has joined our town, which is great. Didn't really know we'd be building a full-fledged town here. I have searched these foothills and found no sign of the Ashen. We must consult Gethin of the Birthing Waters. She will know where to look. Okay, we could definitely do that. Gethin can be found. Oh, sorry, buddy. You were talking. Uh, so we have a new journey to find a new quest to find Gethin, and I have to assume that that is what saves and maybe revives the enemies around. Do you dream? In my sleep, I hear my brother's voice. He once traveled this way with my father. I wasn't with them. Ahu was eldest, so it was his duty alone. No. Oh. Now he echoes through my slumber, calling to me. Hmm. Each time is the same. He stands atop an old listener ruin, calling to me. I have found the ruin by the lakeside. Will you help me climb it? Okay, great. Yeah, we'll definitely help you out any way we can. Uh, because you're helping us out a lot. And that's how it works. Uh, we're going to take a little break here, though, and when we come back, we have a couple of quests. I'm having a lot of fun with this. I don't know that I'm great at the combat. I think I'll get better, but it feels really good. The world is beautifully imagined. The characters are interesting. Uh, the enemies are interesting. It's all very interesting. I like it. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you like it as well. Thanks, as always, for the support. Take care and wish me luck.